conference today, let's solve trapping rainwater two problem. Given an m times n matrix of positive integers representing the height of each unit cell in a 2D elevation map, compute the volume of water it is able to trap after raining. Let's see this example. We can imagine it as a 3D picture. So after raining, we know these two places can hold water. So is this place. And in total, we can hold uh, five water. Oh, sorry, four. How do you think about this problem? Actually, this is an obvious fact that as we need to trap water, we need uh, its four neighbors have a larger height of itself. So the only condition this cell can hold water is its up, down, left, and right neighbor has larger height than it. So based, based on this fact, we know these four edges will never hold any water as they do not have other bonders themselves are bonders, so they cannot hold water. So all we need to handle is, is the cells inside these four bonders. And how, uh, let's see, what, uh, what decides how much water we can hold? Actually, this is based on the minimum height of its four neighbors. Imagine it is four, this is three, this is three, and it is also three. We know this cell can hold water. And uh, the water it can hold is use three minus two. So that means we need to know the minimum height of each cell. So as we need to know the minimum height, actually we can use a data structure that is heap. But how to solve this problem? Actually, we know this, all the cells on the four edges cannot hold water. So we can offer these cells into the heap. Then we pull a cell from the heap based on their height. And as you know, for every cell, we only need to know the minimum height of its four neighbors. So we just need to visit each cell once. So that means we also need a Boolean array to mark whether we visited this cell before. So then we uh, currently we have these cells in our heap. We know this is one and all its neighbors are visited, which is three and four. And we skip it and four. And also uh, for this, cell and its uh, neighbors are visited and then it's this one right we know this is three but we cannot uh, hold any water in this three because this one is already less than itself so it can never hold any water and uh, we visit and mark uh, we sorry we mark it and visited then we uh, handle the height of two so for these two, all its neighbors have been visited. And uh, so for these two, and then we handle three, the height of three. Okay, this is three. We know for this neighbor, the height is two. So that means we can hold some water in this place. And uh, we know it can hold three minus two because three is, is the minimum height of all its four neighbors. You know, uh, you see, no matter whether this place is less or greater than itself, it can still hold the three minus two, which is one water. So that means for every cell pulled from the heap, we decide whether its four neighbors can hold water because itself is the minimum height of its four neighbors. So that means we just need to update the height of its four neighbors 
for this place, we update it to three because we can hold one water, and then we keep, you know, we we keep check the height of three, and then we uh, uh, let's see, we check this cell, and this is on its neighbor, and how much water it can hold? Actually, it's three minus one. Actually, it's two water. So we update this height to three, and uh, we accumulate accumulated the, the two to the final result, so on and so forth, we can get the final result. Okay, so even if this, you know, this matrix is greater, we can do the same thing and we can get the correct answer. So let's wrap up. What's the algorithm? We offer all the cells on the edges to the hip as they will never hold any water. And we <coughs> While this heap is not empty, we pull a cell from the heap, and we check its four neighbors. If its neighbor is valid and unbeated, we will check whether its new height is less than the height. If it's less than the height, that means we can hold water in the new cell, actually its neighbor. So accumulate the, you know, the difference to the result variable. This is a global variable. And we offer the updated height to the heap. Actually, the height of this cell either is its original height when the height is greater than the height. I mean, the new height is greater than the height or the new height is less than the height. So we just uh, hold some water and the height will uh, change the, to the, you know, the height. Okay, so let's write the code. I think the difficulty of this problem is that you need to understand the, the algorithm. The code is very simple. We just uh, first need to write the directions, which you should be uh, very familiar with. That means the four directions, zero, negative one, and the one, zero, and the negative one, zero. You should know this is just a means of four directional, a uh, four direction of the current cell is a change in the column index and the row index. Actually, we can use a private. Yeah, we only need to write our own class. We can call it cell or item, whatever you like it. Implements the comparable, Compar comparable cell. You can write it uh, in the priority queue, uh, but uh, we can also write here. We know the row and the column. Actually, they are index and the height. Let's write the constructor cell, and we pass row C and H, and we update the row to R and the column to C, and the height to H. Let's also write the int compare to, we will pass other cell. So if the this dot height is equal to other cell dot height, we just return zero. And if this dot height is less than other cell dot height, we return negative one. Otherwise, we return one. Okay, so this is means they sorted uh, lexicographically. Okay, then we check, do a simple edge case check. If height dot map is less than one, we just return zero. Otherwise, we get m equal to height map dot length. And uh, m will equal to height map zero dot length, okay, sure, then we will use a priority queue sale, and we call it heap new priority queue, priority queue, and we also need a VTED array, right, VTED, new boolean, that will be MN, so we just uh, 
put all the cells in on the four edges to the hip. So we first add the, you know, the first column and the last column. So the only the row index change. So i equal to zero, i less than m, i plus plus. So dated zero, i, this is the, you know, sorry, it should be i, this is zero, uh, equal to true. And the dated uh, i, and the last column, which means n minus one equal to true. And the heap will offer new cell. The row index is i, color index is zero, and the height will be height map i zero, and the heap of a new cell that will be i, you know, that will be an n minus one height map, you know, that will be i n minus one, and let add all the cells on the, you know, the first and the last row. So only the color changes. So I start from zero, I less than n, i plus plus. V is uh, that's zero, right? And i equal to true. And the V is the, that will be n minus, n minus one, one equal to true. And the heap of uh, new cell that will be zero i height you know height map that will be zero i in the heap of a new cell that will be n minus one i height map that will be n minus one uh, i okay i also need a global variable to accumulate the water. So while this heap is not empty, we get the current cell. We pull from the heap and we get the row, which is cur dot row. The column equal to cur dot column and the height will equal to cur dot height. And the full direction, right, for D, D S, okay. R will be D zero plus row, and in the C will go to D one plus column. We check if R greater than zero. So you will notice that we do not uh, write uh, R equal zero because all the cells on the borders will not uh, be valid. So we just need is greater than zero, and R less then m minus one. Also, you notice it's not m because the m minus one is not uh, valid. Uh, it's not valid. So c greater than zero and c less than n minus one. And also, we need the uh, unvited. So we mark r c as visited. So it's true. And the result accumulated the, you know, the max o zero. Either it's zero or you know the cur the current actually the current height minus its neighbor height, so it will be height map R uh, C. Okay, we will keep off the new cell R uh, C, and uh, we just uh, need to know the maximum height of the edge and the height map R uh, C. Okay. So in the end, that's the return result. Mm. Line 15, height is less than RC. Oh, sorry, height. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.